What is going on guys? Last time we got our butt kicked by this Tecumseh engine. In our defense, it, did, it wasn't acting like a bad carburetor. It was fine at idle, fine in mid-range. It was acting like it was governed by something. So we went through everything. We went through the valve springs. We thought it might've been spark related or ignition related. It wasn't spitting or sputtering when we took it down the road. It just, it accelerated hard and all of a sudden it just planed off. Yeah. It was like, <sighs> Yep. Yep. Which is so odd. Yeah. And the final thing we tried to do before we were gonna give up, Ike just like uh, vice gripped a 212 carburetor on it. And what do you know, it worked. And it ripped around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix, put down an impressive 35.6. Faster than the life in 200 fast than speed. <laughs> These skinnier tires grab a lot better and have a lot more traction than like our big fat slicks out there but they tear up the yard where the slicks don't. Uh, today we're gonna work on head, porting, polishing, shaving, um, as well as the old header. And I'm probably gonna modify the intake. We can knock this out. Quick. Boom. Nice valves. Go Power Sports just started selling a clear valve cover. We don't have any yet, but- Not for Tecumseh's. No, yeah, they're for 212s and stuff. Y'all should check them out. I want. Link in the description. Some Clear valve oh yeah, dude, me too. They're pretty sweet looking. Yeah. yeah. With a head gasket might be an interesting situation. Well, I'm hoping that everything will be fine. Copper silicone, worst comes to worst. It looks like it's burning better now with that carburetor. Problem? Pretty good. I'm gonna say this thing's got a, I'm just guessing now. This is gonna have a dished, dished piston. All right, we're almost there. That wasn't bad. We're like, not done yet. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> yeah, I need to like, I need to like stop talking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Torx. Oh, there it is. Yeah, didn't think it would take much. No. Hey, a small announcement to make, guys. Ike and I are going to Power Tour this year. Oh man. So all you guys who are going to be at Power Tour. We're gonna be there. We're, I mean, we're just going in Raleigh and Charlotte. Uh, we're just taking the Miata. We wish we could take like the 53. It's just, it's just not ready. Taking the Miata? My Miata? Is that, what you else? Said we, you're taking the Miata. Yeah. What else are we taking? I just assume that's what we work because it's probably the most reliable thing. I was planning on taking the Skylark. We're taking the Buick Skylark. <laughs> Look at that combustion chamber. It's huge. Yeah. It's also filthy. Something don't look right. That exhaust. Yeah, are those valves like seated correctly, dude? Man, they look funky. So are we gonna do the like silly putty test? Nah, we're just gonna shave the head. That right there looks funny in between. Look, look at that, it looks like. It's like something is escaping or something. Yeah, only way we could tell is if we were to put liquid in there. Okay, not bad. So they're actually sealed up pretty good. Don't recommend putting water in aluminum, but in this case, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to run out for some bits. Yep. Uh, and we need to run to use your highly precise head shaving tool. Yes, sir. Cool. Yep. See y'all there. Nice glasses, man. Thanks, man. What do you think, bud? About where we wanted it. Yeah, it's real close to that. It started hitting those numbers. We don't have everything we need to to really do a good porting and polishing job but we're gonna open up these a little bit oh yeah so we are back at the shop our head is shaved uh it's past nine o'clock at night so we're gonna call it quits for tonight and uh see y'all in the morning good morning guys ike has already started hitting the head with the file the intake and exhaust ports are tapered so they're like big at the ends and they get skinnier as we go in the main thing we need to do is open up that bottleneck where it tapers at the end 
and we really can't do that with a Dremel. So we don't want to lose all of that taper, but we want to open it up just a tad. So the exhaust side is all done with reporting, so now we're on to polishing. We have some honing stones in there. I'm just gonna hit it with a little lubricant, and I'm just gonna hone it out. Make it nice and smooth. That's right. You want that exhaust to just flow through real smooth. Now the intake, you don't want that. You want the intake more like sandpaper because as the air and fuel passes over it, it's gonna break up, causing it to atomize, which gives you a better burn. If you wanna do a really good job, you're probably gonna spend an hour yeah. on it. It'll look polished though. Oh yeah, you can, you can make it like a mirror. Cool. Dude, we're ready to bolt this thing back on. Another thing that people do uh, with these small engines is that instead of shaving the head, they actually buy a thinner head gasket, which is, I mean, it's kind of like the same thing as shaving the head. You're making the combustion chamber smaller. Instead of using that head gasket, you get yourself a Coke can and you like cut the can open, lay it out flat, the aluminum, and you take the head gasket off your engine and you trace it out on the old aluminum can and then you cut it out and that's your head gasket and then you use the uh coke can as a that's gasket pretty, pretty brilliant yeah thank you one last go so there's one two three Four, five. All right. Valves are adjusted, intake is going back on, and if we wanted to squeeze a little more performance out of this engine, we would be making a new intake manifold because as you can see, like it makes like almost a 90 degree corner right after the carburetor, and it has to go uphill in order to reach the head here. But one thing we are gonna do is drill out the carburetor jet in that factory 212 carb. I'm gonna throw the front cover back on. I just gonna get all that bolted up and then we can make a header and drill out our carb jet and then we'll be good to go. We can't reuse the flange on the factory exhaust manifold just because of its design, but what we can do is take a factory Predator 212 muffler, cut the flange off, uh, grind down the sides and then re-drill the holes to make it fit at the cum seat. So our header's tacked, time to give it a run. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds pretty good, you know. Idled a little hot. Huh? Yeah. Probably because everything's free or flowing. Yeah. It definitely seems to bounce the chassis more. Yeah, it does, though. Yeah. Probably that compression, dude, keep bouncing. Gonna be some fuel in it because I didn't run it all out. Ooh, it looks good. All right, so we just drilled the carb jet. I think it was drilled already, but I'm not sure. I need to start marking these things whenever I drill them. Man, I don't. I'm not sure I can put the last bit of 80 miles on my bike without this fuel. Uh-oh. Is that how you win? Yeah. <laughs> because we're keeping this as low budget as possible, we're not even gonna throw an air filter on the engine. Don't do that at home if you care about your engine or carburetor. <laughs> Six four, 648. That's like almost a second faster. You want to try one no, more time? No, that's, no, I think it's good. Okay, you want to do a lap? I want to do a lap. 
one do a lap. Yeah, that's what I'm actually really excited about. Okay, look at that thing tremble as it's running. Yeah. I don't think it was doing that before. No, it's, it feels like thumpier. Yeah. All right. You remember the time? It was almost. It was, it was almost 60. It was almost as fast as the. Uh, yeah. All right. Can Something. you can you make this run without running into a tree, bud? Yeah, we'll see. All right. Hey, Mark. Get set. Go. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I'm not kidding. This pile of garbage <laughs> is the fastest thing on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. 3311. It feels pretty good. It sounds pretty good. It's pretty quick. Yeah. So we just we just dropped uh, 2.4 seconds just with our performance mods. That cost us zero dollars. Yep. You wanna take it down the road? Yeah, I kinda do. You want a top speed run? Yeah, let's do top speed run, okay. actually. What is your estimated top speed run? I feel like 36. I'm going to say it's going to be pretty quick. Um, I'm going to go 37. Thank you, sir. Yep. is uh not acting right clutch yeah it's like we're losing our stall oh what are we looking at here uh 93 miles per hour <laughs> yeah no 36.6 what did i say 47 no nah, you said 37 i really? said 36 so that means by rounding you're you're closer what so uh what it was it again we both called it though uh it's 36.6 was the max recorded speed Wow! Yeah, we were real close on that one. Yeah. Average at 12.2, an altitude of 10 feet. Okay. Hey, that's not bad though. No. Oh, uh, the steering freaking sucks on this thing. This though. thing is so sketchy. Yeah, it's uh, not meant to go fast. Not, well, the biggest thing is uh, the, it's so tight. Yeah. Yeah. So if we loosened it up, if we rode it more, it'll steer better and better. Yeah. All right, folks. I. I want to make a pass in the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Yeah. So it's only you, fair. You gonna make practice run or not? I uh, know. No, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. So I was a 33.11. <clears throat> that way, if I if I'm slower, I have an excuse. All right, buddy. On your mark. Get set. Go. I think it did lose bottom end.
handful, dude. 35? 35. 35. I, I, I failed it. Where? Huh? Where'd you mess up? You look fast the whole time. I messed up in that corner. Oh, okay. And uh, I messed up over here. Okay. I'm fine 35. I'm not riding this thing again through there. Yeah. It's a handful. Yeah. It sounds like it has a lot more compression. It does. Yeah. All right, dude. We did it. Yep. The $28.25 cheap heap laid down an impressive 33 seconds, 0.11. I have a theory on that. What's that? I don't know if you thought about it, but uh, we got tread on those tires. Would explain why you're tearing up the yard so much because you got traction yeah and you're able to put that power to the ground yep that's why it's faster yeah that is absolutely why it's faster yeah yeah it's honestly in my opinion it's more fun on the race carts with slicks even though they're slower it's it's I like mean, ice skating it's drifting the whole time yeah i agree yeah i like it yeah i like it plus you're not going to get yelled at right yeah the slicks are a lot easier on the yard yeah so yeah, but I mean, still, like, we need to dethrone this somehow. Because this is just embarrassing, dude. Our, uh, it really is. A kid's car. A you kid's can barely car. barely even fit in it. With a Tecumseh six and a half with vice grips on the carburetor. Um. Did we lose them? We lost dude, them, what? dude. Dude, the, head, the <laughs> exhaust is gone. Oh. Dude. Where'd the header go? I have no idea. Oh, no. We need to go find that. Yeah. So in addition to the scorching lap it did on the Grand Prix, uh, it also laid down a top speed of 36 miles an hour, which is, well, way faster than a, a kid's cart like that should go. 36.6. 36.6. So, so 37. Off, 37. Yeah, 37 miles an hour, which is not bad. And remember, these are all performance mods that like, that oh, that's it right there. Yep. I bet it didn't like last It's still long. hot. Oh, dude, it probably fell off in your lap then. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and press the little bell for notifications, and smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, and let us know if you want to see more continued budget stuff. I'm finally glad we tore into a Tecumseh and uh, got familiar with the engine and how to modify it. Anyway, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Visit our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com, for all your go-kart performance needs or mini bike needs. Whatever you need, they can hook you up. Anyway, support the channel by picking up some of our merchandise at cars-cameras.com. That stuff really helps us out. We really appreciate all you guys who are buying our merchandise. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.